If you have sleep apnea, I need to introduce you to Oscar. Who's Oscar? Oscar's not actually a who, it's a what. And don't worry, in this video, I'll make getting acquainted very easy. Oscar is a popular piece of software that lets you deep dive into your sleep data to get the best out of your therapy. In this video, I'm going to go through downloading and installing Oscar, setting up a profile and uploading your data to it from your CPAP device. Right, let's start with installing Oscar to your computer. There is a link to the download page in the description below. And once you're there, you will see that there are versions of the software for Windows or Mac users, and even Linux, Chromebooks, and Raspberry Pi. So click the right link to your machine, download the file, and then open it. Go through the various pop-ups about languages, access, and folder locations until it's finished installing. When you open Oscar for the very first time, you'll first need to create your profile. To do this, click New Profile to the right of the window. It will ask you for a username, your country and time zone, and whether you want to password protect that profile and what it should be. Make your choices and then hit Next. The screen after that asks for personal information like name, date of birth, gender, height, weight, etc. This data is only relevant to what gets printed out on your reports, so put as much or as little here as you want. It's all optional. Then hit Next again. The following screen asks about your treatment and some therapy settings. If you know this info, you can fill it out. But when you upload your data, Oscar should be able to automatically detect this anyway and fill it in for you. So don't worry about it too much at this stage. You can always manually add it later if you need to. Hit Next. Finally, it asks you for your doctor's information, which, like your personal information, is optional and will not affect the data you see. After this, the button to click will be finished. And now you have a shiny new Oscar profile. Okay, so now you'll see a series of icons in the middle. The last three will be grayed out right now because you haven't brought your data into Oscar yet. So let's get that sorted for you. Go to your CPAP machine and remove the SD card. It stores your data on. If you use a machine without an SD card like ResMeds Air Mini, you won't be able to use it with Oscar, unfortunately. But once you have your SD card safely in your hands, you need to make sure your data stays safe too. So check to see if your SD card has a small switch on the edge of the card and make sure it is in the locked position. Basically, this makes sure the data on your card can't change, so there's no chance of your computer adding a file to the card that stops it from working when it's back in your CPAP. With that done, pop the card into your card reader slot on your computer. Back to Oscar again, and click on the CPAP importer icon. Oscar will probably see your SD card and recognize what machine you're using. And if so, click yes to import your data from your card. But if not, click the alternative option to manually locate your card. Once the import starts, it may take a few minutes as this is your first time, but in the future, it will only add the new data and should be much faster. And once the data has been imported, all those grayed out icons about your sleep data will become active. So go and take a look at some of that. Well, hopefully this has helped you get all set up with Oscar on your computer. If you want help understanding your data and a quick overview of what you can look at, feel free to give us at RestShop a call or subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing a video on that a little bit later. There are many other online communities for fellow CPAP users who find it helpful to discuss their therapy and offer each other advice, such as apneaboard.com. And there's a lot of chat on there about your interpreting your Oscar data. And if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and check out our shiny new website at respiop.com for more great CPAP tips and information. And as always, sleep tight, friends.